All right, so after you've decided what to wear and figured out all your accessories, there is one last detail to consider, which I like to call the final detail of any outfit, and that is a fragrance. Now, you may already have a particular fragrance that you like to wear and that your future spouse likes as well, which is honestly one of the most important things. But if you're looking for a fragrance to complement your wedding outfit, I've put together seven recommendations for you. This video deals specifically with spring and summer fragrances, so if you're getting married in the fall or winter, feel free to skip ahead to the next video. All seven fragrances I'm going to go over here work for a spring or summer wedding for two specific reasons. Reason number one, they're light, so they're not gonna be overwhelming or unbearable in the heat. And reason number two, they're crisp, which complements the season and gives them an overall masculine scent. Fragrance number one is Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior, not to be confused with Sauvage, which is a newer fragrance. Eau Sauvage is the original, it's an absolute classic, and it is one of the most iconic men's fragrances of all time. Top notes include lemon, bergamot, basil, and lavender. Heart notes, jasmine, rose, carnation, patchouli, and sandalwood. And base notes of oak moss, vetiver, musk, and amber. Overall, this is a very fresh and citrusy fragrance. It also lasts quite a while, five to eight hours, which is not typical of a citrus fragrance. If you're looking for something fresh, simple, and classic that gets tons of compliments, Eau Sauvage is a great choice. Fragrance number two is Floris number 89, and this is considered a woody citrus fragrance. Top notes are bergamot, lavender, neroli, nutmeg, orange, and petite grain. Heart notes, geranium, rose, and ylang-ylang. And base notes are cedarwood, musk, oak moss, sandalwood, and vetiver. Florist number 89 is considered a quintessential English gentleman's fragrance. To that point, it was supposedly a favorite of Winston Churchill and also Ian Fleming, author of the James Bond novels. Definitely has that classic gentleman kind of scent, almost like a barbershop fragrance in that you do get a lot of sharpness from the lavender. Overall, it's very fresh and masculine. You'll get a good four to six hours out of it. And since you typically don't see it in US stores, it's also a bit unique. Fragrance number three is Guerlain Vetiver, which is also considered one of the all-time classic men's fragrances. Vetiver is a type of grass that's native to India, and as a result, vetiver fragrances have a very fresh and grassy smell to them. Guerlain Vetiver has top notes of bergamot, lemon, neroli, and coriander. Heart notes are vetiver and cedar. And base notes, tobacco, nutmeg, pepper, and tonka bean. Although you get that underlying grassy vetiver essence, it's not as front and center as many other vetiver fragrances out there. And what you get in addition to the freshness is a sharpness and woodsiness that makes Guerlain Vetiver more recognizably masculine than many other vetiver fragrances. This one lasts quite a bit as well. You'll get six to eight hours out of it. It's another simple, classic, and distinctive scent. Fragrance number four is Oud Fleur by Tom Ford. This is going to be the most unique and distinctive of the seven fragrances I talk about here. Not gonna bother listing off the individual notes of this one because there are way too many to mention, but there are three that really jump out at you. First and foremost is Rose, and I know that might not sound like a very masculine scent, but you also have Oud and Incense, which gives the fragrance a very spicy and masculine quality. This fragrance has a very big projection. It'll last a solid six to eight hours. It's classy, it's elegant, it's unique, it's surprising, and it's very sexy. Fragrance number five is Elysium by Raja Parfum. This is considered an aromatic fougere, which means it's fresh, light, bright, and masculine. It's got top notes that include grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, and thyme. Heart notes of vetiver, juniper, apple, cedar, pink pepper, and jasmine. And base notes include ambergris, vanilla, leather, and benzoin. This fragrance is fresh and it has a little bit of a zing to it. Uh, what really comes through are the sharper and more herbaceous notes of grapefruit and juniper. And what really distinguishes this, especially as a light and fresh fragrance, 
is that it does last very long on the skin thanks to the ambergris. Elysium is a very unique fragrance in this category, and it also gets tons of compliments. Fragrance number six is L by Arquiste. This is classified as an amber fougere, which means it's fresh and herbaceous, but also has a very deep, rich, and masculine scent. Top notes include laurel leaves, clary sage, rosemary, and geranium. Heart notes of cardamom, cinnamon, orange flower water, and buckwheat honey. Base notes include patchouli, oak moss, vetiver, and a fougere accord. Of the seven fragrances I'm recommending here, L is by far the sexiest of the bunch. However, because this is a deeper and richer scent, I would only recommend wearing it if you are doing something in the evening for your spring or summer wedding. Fragrance number seven is Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. This is classified as a citrusy aromatic and you have top notes of bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, bitter orange, lavender, and rosemary. Heart notes are African orange flower, neroli, and jasmine, and base notes include amber, angelica, and ambrette. It's a very light citrusy fragrance and what comes through the most, as you might expect from the name, is the neroli. Neroli is an oil that is derived from the orange flower blossom, so you do get a touch of the floral, which also kind of smooths out some of the citrus notes. This is extremely long lasting. You will easily get eight hours out of this. It's very light, it's very fresh, and if I was doing a beach or seaside wedding, this would definitely be my choice. So there you have it. Those are seven fragrances that I would recommend wearing if you are doing a spring or summer wedding. Two things now. Number one, I understand that a few of my recommendations are on the pricier side of things. These are unique niche fragrances that don't smell like anything else out there, so you are paying a little bit of a premium for that distinctiveness. Your wedding is a special day, and if it fits in your budget, I would definitely recommend checking out some of these if they sound interesting. Number two, it's also very difficult to get a sense of a fragrance without actually smelling it yourself. In many instances, you can go online and order samples of each for a fraction of the price of a full bottle, which I would definitely encourage you to do. And if you have any specific questions about these fragrances, let me know.